how would you describe your music? I mean, when we talked, you said inaccessible music. I think I said unlistenable. <laughs> Lamb of God premiered their movie as the palaces burn in Philadelphia over the weekend and it's a lot more than your typical DVD. Fans will for the first time see what the band actually went through in 2012 when their singer Randy Blythe was hauled off to jail in Prague on suspicion of manslaughter when the band landed in the country in advance of playing a show on the 28th of June that year. The DVD turned film is being released to theaters across the U.S. and showings are booked in over 25 countries. Those who want to see the film can go to asthepalacesburn.com for showtimes and dates. Lamb of God drummer Chris Adler said that the movie started off being a feel-good DVD about the impact the band has in people's lives. This music, not necessarily, again, not necessarily our band, but music in general can really um, bring people together and, and get past a lot of the differences that we have as people. And it's a great example of um, how we can show off how finding things in common um, seems to be a lot better idea than just pointing out, like the news does, everything that we have differences about and, and the fighting and all that stuff. So it's just, it's not going to save the world necessarily, but it's, it's, it's one way that we can maybe show how um, this this kind of thing can really bring people together, at least for an hour and a half, you know, just forget about all the other stuff and have a good time. He then realized that the feel-good movie suddenly took a turn for the worse. We, we weren't in charge of the documentary film crew, so uh, we weren't their boss. The record label had, you know, paid them to make this movie. So they were, although friendly and, and very professional, uh, they, they weren't... <laughs> they weren't really being told what to do by us. So we were seeing the footage coming back of this stuff that they had found, this guy in Venezuela, this girl in uh, India, uh, this kid in uh, Israel, and we're just thrilled. Like, this, the, our theory is, is coming true. We land in Prague. Um, crazy situation there. Uh, we're all pulled aside. You know, guys, SWAT team looking guys, ski mask, uh, bulletproof, everything, huge machine guns, knives strapped to their... Uh, legs, all this stuff, uh, and they take Randy to jail for suspected homicide. Adler said that it was a scary, uncertain, and bewildering time because not only did Lamb of God singer end up in jail without any accurate information coming back to the band, they also had to come to grips with the knowledge that one of their fans died tragically, which they don't take very lightly. We were really excluded from any information as to what was going on. We weren't allowed to talk to him in jail. It was very difficult to find out what was happening uh, during the situation. And we all knew that we really had to kind of keep our heads down and not say anything because we didn't want it to affect uh, the case. There was very little we could do other than really just kind of shovel money at lawyers and hope, you know, we're doing the right thing. And so it was very frustrating time. I think we were, we were all very defensive about here's our singer and our friend that's in jail for something that we don't believe that he did or could be responsible for. So we're, and we're scared about how he's doing. We can't even get an update on that. I'm scared about what's happening uh, to him. At the same time, we're processing the information that someone came to our show and, and died, whether, regardless of whose fault it is. Um, and that is not something anybody wants to hear. You know, we want our fans to, to have fun and enjoy the music. And you know, this was the last, um, event that this kid ever attended and it's devastating uh, to us it's, it really is as for the premiere adler admitted the band couldn't stay for the film it went well sold out you know great uh, attendance people were very excited to see the film very excited to see us back together on stage you know announcing uh, the film but as soon as it came on the band immediately left the venue um, it's just tough for us to watch. You know, we lived through it once. Seeing it now again just kind of puts us back in that terrifying spot of, of what it was. And it wasn't the movie we wanted to make. You know, we're we're act not actors. We're we're part of this documentary um, that um, really is a very unfortunate turn of events. As the palaces burn is a unique look at what happened to the band before, during, and after Blythe was held in prison. And we'll have more from Adler on the miracle of Randy's release, the effect the movie has had on them, and interest in the film for various festivals.